a story for something that a lot of times people don't talk about. Why do we have eight nights of Hanukkah? Why, where did that come from? Where did eight nights come from? Yeah. The oil lasted eight days. This was from the latkes, right? <laughs> what oil? What, what was the problem? Why is that impressive? Right. There, there was all this destruction in the temple. Things were slipping all over the place. The oil was spilled, and they found one jar still together, kind of like my room. <laughs> What's up? You agree. Awesome. So, so they find this one jar, and you say, you know, that's all we've got. Well, let's light it anyway and see what we can do with it. To me, Hanukkah is a story of underestimation. We have this very small army, maybe we can still win. We have this one jar of oil, maybe we can still bring back a temple. Right? So, you guys want a big show today? Yeah! But maybe it might be easy to underestimate. So, let's start simple. Start small. So I bring you the glowing light on a string. So can we make this into more than just a light? More than just a light? Can we make this into a whole show? How can we make a single little light look like more than just a little light? What can we do? Yeah. Move it around. Move it around. Shall we move it around? Absolutely. Would you like to show us what you had in mind? Come on up. I'll go that way. Yeah, you're okay. So if you're not in the first two rows, go that way. The emergency exits are here, and that's it. <laughs> I said the actual emergency exits are Or you can do that. Okay, there are a couple of stairs on that side, too. Your name, sir? Jason. Jason, welcome to the stage. So Jason said, spin it around. Will that make it look like more than just a dot? All right. So let's see what Jason can do. Excellent. And right on cue, we get rid of the extra noise. The extra light. Wow. Did we add anything to this? Other than Jason, it's still the same stuff. It looks like a circle. Who sees a circle? Cheers. Is there a circle in front of Jason? Where is the circle really? In your eyes. That's it. If Jason moved really, really fast, it would be easy to see him. It's hard to see stuff that moves really quickly, isn't it? So your eye holds onto the image, holds onto the light for just an extra moment. And we can use that, can't we? So if you see where that light is, what if I push it off? If I push the button over here. It makes Jason stop. Amazing that. Parents keep that remember that. They push the button over here. Uh, okay. So yeah, hold, hold, hold the extra wire with this hand so it doesn't matter. They hey, technology. Okay. So if I flip it off, like three, two, one, now. Notice it takes a moment to disappear in your eye. So why do you see a circle? What's Jason doing? Moving. Moving it out. <laughs> Fast. Moving, yes, I hope we can do a whole physics lesson on this. We bring out skateboarders, it's beautiful. Here we're talking about the speed, aren't we? Yeah. Is it the fast that makes the difference? Yeah. How can we test it? Go slow. So go slower, Jason. And it does. Does it look like a circle? One light. Does, it looks like one light. Does it look like a light with a little bit of a tail? Yeah. Because the cool thing is, if your eye holds onto the image for a moment, we're getting bright. Um, if I move the light from here to here, you see where it is and where it just was. If he moves it fast, you can see where it is, was, 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 was. If he moves it really fast, maybe he can get all the way around before you even notice it's gone. And you see a circle. Not bad. 